How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to my top 5 yo-yo tips and tricks to help you get through a yo-yo only adventure in Terraria. These tips are designed specifically with expert mode in mind when you might need to pull out every little tip, tip and advantage you can get to survive the vicious damage of the monsters in that mode. Also, in other good news, the move has finally finished. Yes, that's right, I have finally finished moving houses, which means I can get back into those delicious and awesome Let's Plays. So I need to say a big thank you to all of you for being so patient during my move. I understand I couldn't do the big, big full-on Let's Plays like I normally do, but I thought what better way to get back into the Yaren series by doing a yo-yo video. So let's get started. Starting with tip number five as we enter the Yo Corpse testing facility is that the white string and cannel oats can be acquired very early in your adventure. The white string especially needing only cobwebs and a loom to be able to craft. Now one thing that a lot of players are still un unaware of is that you can recraft the item multiple times to try and get a positive modifier on it. So as you saw there I just recrafted it and got oh, an angry white string with plus 3% damage. So it's really good to do and it only costs 30 cobwebs a go. To a lesser extent you can do the same with the counterweights. And if you are lucky, you will get, uh, when you buy one from a merchant, you'll get a modifier on it. And coming in at 4 on the list is the ability to do uh, extra or less damage to mobs depending where you are when you're using your yo-yo. So if you are relatively close to the mobs, you'll notice it does a set amount of damage. Now, yo-yos have the unique ability to be able to attack through small spaces in the wall, like I'm demonstrating now. However, when you do this, you actually incur a slight damage penalty. So, it appears to be, without doing thorough testing, it appears to be about 20%, 20 to 30%. So, you notice I was averaging about 40 damage a hit when I was in the room with the skeletons, and now it's going down to about 28, 20, you know, 32. Uh, criticals not included, obviously. What does this mean for you in expert mode? Well, if you need to hide, just know that it might take a bit longer to kill those mobs. Coming in at number three on the list is the ability to recraft certain yo-yos early in the game to get a beneficial modifier. And a lot of players still don't know or are unaware that you can do this. So take the melees, for example. So it has 16 melee damage to start with. And most people craft one, don't get a modifier and think, oh well, I'll need to wait for the Goblin Tinkerer. But if you actually make several new ones, you can see I just got the modifier Hurtful on it, which gives a bonus 12% damage for the cost of only 12 extra Demonite bars. Um, this is a really excellent way to get extra damage early in the game, coupled with the string technique we looked at before, your character's already doing about 5-10 to 10 bonus damage. Number two on the list is something that's interesting and something I've been testing a little bit lately and that is melee speed actually affects both the distance and velocity of your yo-yo once it's cast. Um, now naturally being a melee character you're likely to equip um, you know melee armor however there are a few accessories that can tweak the speed and distance of your yo-yo and we're going to explore them now with a little test. So I'm currently not wearing any armor or my accessories, the only thing I'm wearing is wings with a damage modifier. So what we're going to do is stand near this two and cast the yo-yo out. So I'm using the chick at the moment and it's getting about to the candle just after the four accessories there. So what we're going to do now is equip the four um, gauntlet accessories that are all modified for melee speed bonus. So they, they themselves have melee speed bonuses and they are modified to have additional melee speed. We're also going to equip a yo-yo bag with melee speed. And let's test the same yo-yo, the chick, uh, from the same distance and let's cast it again. You can see that, oh my gosh, I'm actually surprised by the enhancement. So the yo-yo has gone, I mean the first time it was around this candle. It can now reach the uh, trophy with the yellets on it. And we're not even wearing armor, so let's also equip the shadow set I've got in there, which has uh, a melee speed bonus too. And oh my gosh, it even gets further now. <laughs> 
and now you can see it's making it just to the number one there and is going crazy so melee speed definitely something that is worth having a look at if you're playing a melee character you get big big bonuses to your distance and on expert mode you don't want those mobs getting near you and coming in at number one for my top trick when doing a yo-yo class playthrough is you know it's nothing too fancy but it definitely helps you get through an expert mode adventure and as soon as you beat a mechanical boss uh, monsters in the jungle will drop this amazing yo-yo called the Yellets. Um, excuse me for my pronunciation of it. Now it's a very high damage yo-yo with, uh, you know, it's got great knockback. Um, it has an even further reach than the yo-yos you've used until then. And I think it's, it's relatively easy to farm because every mob in the jungle can drop it. Um, it will really help you beat the other two mech bosses and any other invasions that you're doing at the time. I know that's a simple number one trick, but believe me, if you're doing a yo-yo only playthrough in expert mode, you'll want this massively powered up yo-yo. Okay, soldier, thanks for joining us for the top five yo-yo tricks at the Yo Corps building today. Hope you've enjoyed this video and leave a like if you have. Um, also in the comments, if you've got any other yo-yo tips and tricks that, that I may have overlooked, let us know and have a great discussion about them. Alright, um, so stay tuned for the Yaren series starting after this video the next day. I'm so excited and I'll make it even a little bit longer for you because I know you guys have been so patient. So thank you so much again for your patience. I really appreciate it. And I'm so glad the move's over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. Here's the most important part. As always, you all stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya. And that means that Ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The Mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just, oh, he's got 3,000 health. He's only got 3,000.